Hello world citizens, today we have a tale of reconciliation that might turn the tide in the tempestuous seas of Middle Eastern diplomacy. Welcome to Discernative Lee, and yes, you heard it right, the heavyweight rivals, Iran and Saudi Arabia, have taken their gloves off and extended a hand of peace. After a seven-year gaping hiatus, Iran reopened its embassy in Saudi Arabia. A historic reconciliation. On the 6th of June 2023 Tuesday, Iran reopened its embassy in Riyadh. The relationship between both countries has been challenging since 1979, when a new leadership came to power in Iran with a vision to extend their political influence beyond their borders, including the Gulf nations. This remarkable turn of events comes on the heels of a deal. And did you know, China played the middleman and peace broker. In March, China wove a diplomatic tapestry that helped ease the years-long tension, potentially setting the stage for a seismic shift in the region's power dynamics. The grand ceremony and the message of unity. This monumental step was heralded with a grand ceremony inside the embassy compound. The occasion, attended by a bevy of diplomats and officials, marked the commencement of the first diplomatic mission in, yes you're getting good at this, seven years. The man of the hour, Iran's deputy foreign minister for consular affairs, Alareza Bikdeli, made a fervent call for unity. In his impassioned address, Bikdeli underscored the day's significance for Iran and Saudi Arabia. Hoping for a future of cooperation and unity, with a shared vision for stability, prosperity, and progress. Ah, the gentle art of diplomacy, even the United Nations sees the potential of this newfound camaraderie. The UN spokesman, Stefan Dujeric, chimed in with optimism, suggesting that this newfound engagement and dialogue between two powerhouses could usher in a wave of tranquility across the entire region. The implications and the road ahead. So what's the fine print on this China-brokered peace treaty? Iran and Saudi Arabia have decided to breathe life back into their dormant security cooperation pact, opening embassies and reigniting their trade, investment, and cultural ties. But hold your horses, there's more in store. Did you know, Saudi Arabia plans to reciprocate by opening an embassy in Tehran. Dates will be announced soon. Intriguingly, China's presence in the deal is more than just a mediator's role. It's positioning itself as the custodian of diplomatic relations, sovereignty, non-interference, and security cooperation, among other things. For Iran, the timing is crucial. It has been entangled in a strategic agreement with China since 2021, while grappling with nuclear sanctions and internal societal upheaval against hijab rules. Against this backdrop, the normalization of relations with the UAE and Kuwait last August set the stage, with Saudi Arabia being the next logical step. Analysts, however, urge caution. Nason Rafati, a senior Iran analyst at the International Crisis Group, hints at the possibility that Iran might view this as a chance to break free from its isolation, using China's support as a shield. The sands are shifting in the desert of international politics. Will this mark the dawn of a new era, or is it merely the eye of the storm? Time holds the answer. But rest assured, we'll be here to navigate you through it all. And that's a wrap from us. If you find this update enlightening, remember to comment down your opinion. Discernative Lee will await your feedback. Watch our next video about BRICS ditching the US dollar, or one down below, about BAFTA TV Awards 2023.